brow precise micro crayon and I'm gonna just draw a small line right underneath my brows first I'm gonna comb them through real quick comb them up and then over I'm gonna take the pencil side and do a small line right underneath and it connect it to the tail. So then I'm gonna lightly feather in the very top of the brow where the arch is and then also connect it down by the tail again. So now I'm gonna lightly feather it in and then feather the front up just a little bit. And you want to make sure your strokes are very light. The lighter the strokes, the more natural your brow looks. And the main thing is you want to just keep taking your spoolie and combing it through and just Playing, playing with how the hairs go, <clears throat> the sparse areas, and stuff like that. So you can already see the difference between this eyebrow and this eyebrow. It kind of lifts the face, gives it a little bit more dimension. Um, so like I said earlier, for me the very first part for a no makeup makeup look is to make sure my eyebrows are slightly filled in and look a little bit more neat versus how they look without me doing that. So, I'm just following the same techniques as I did on this on this brow as I did on the other side just by lightly feathering And it really does help to be able to comb through your brows because it kind of takes the product and spreads it around to make it just a little bit more natural. So that's how the brows are. Normally I would go a little bit more darker on the brows, um, but today I want to keep it on the natural side. Um, but I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. This is um, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in light, which is about the same shade as my skin. And I'm going to take a small <clears throat> um, little definer brush and carve out my brows really quick, if I can find it. Okay, so I'm going to just take a brush, just like this, and then I'm going to take my concealer and just put a little bit on the tip of the brush on both sides. And then I'm gonna take it and then run it right underneath the brow. This is just gonna sharpen it up just to make it look even more defined without having to fill it in any more than we have it. And also, if you're like me and get lazy with your brows and let the hairs get noticeable, um, the concealer kind of hides the hairs that you need to pluck, which I think is a good thing. So I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'm gonna just go to the other eyebrow real quick and do the same thing. And a lot of times, if I'm in a hurry, I sloppily put my brows on and then I just go in with concealer and fix it because it's probably, for me, the easiest way to make sure that your brows are not really all over the place. 
Okay. So I have them carved out and I'm going to take a beauty blender and just blend this right, blend the extra concealer right down to the eyelid or onto the eyelid. And then take the point and just right around where we conceal on the top. So this is what it looks like. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take my brow stylus plumper and just run that right over the brows real quick just so that they're they stay in place and last a little bit longer. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to take the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. This is in shade N3.5. I have N2, which this is really light for me right now. So I think I'm gonna mix the two because this is pretty dark also. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start it with the dark first. And I'm going to um, spray my face with my Revolution Pro Base Spray real quick. And then I'm also going to just spritz this real quick. Okay, I'm going to get my hair in my face. So I'm going to take it and just dab it right in there. And then right on my skin. This foundation is very lightweight. Um, it's actually it's kind of hard to be able to cake this foundation up because it's such a lightweight foundation, and um, the coverage is only light to medium. Like I feel like even if I'm trying to build up a pretty big um, full coverage with this foundation, I feel like it's kind of hard. So I feel like it would be perfect for a look like this where you're trying where you want to put makeup on but you almost want it to not look like you're wearing makeup, hence the no makeup makeup look. And this shade actually kind of matches me better than I thought. So I might not have to go in with the lighter color. But I just take it and I focus on the areas that I need the most. My forehead isn't that bad. I have a little bit of breakouts, but nothing too crazy. Mostly my discoloration is on my chin and around my nose and my eyelids. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then I'm gonna take that same um, concealer, which was the 10 Light, which is about the same shade is my skin. I'm going to take it and I'm not going to do anything severe. I'm just going to right under there. And it's not really going to be that much of a highlight. I'm going to conceal my mosquito bite and just a little bit where I need it. Okay. And then I'm going to take um, the same concealer just in Fair Clair. And I'm going to just dab three dots on top of that just for a little bit more light to come through. So I'm going to take my beauty blender and just blend that all out. This foundation would definitely be good for someone who has um, really dry skin. I have more combination oily skin. Um, and I wanted to try it. It's really good if you set it with a powder, um, but I've only tried it a couple of times, so I'm not really completely sure on how I like it. So then I'm going to go in with my um, air sponge powder, and I'm going to take my beauty blender, and I'm just going to set underneath my eyes, because if I don't set underneath my eyes and my eyelids it will crease and be crazy okay. and then i'm just gonna take it on my t-zone because like i said that's where i get most oily so i need to make that a little bit Nah. 
And then just, I guess, whatever's left, just run it right over your face. This foundation is very luminous. luminous. Okay, so, so far we have this. Um, I'm not going to do any crazy contouring today. I'm just going to take my Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to take the light contour shade. And um, instead of using my Morphe M530, which is just this, um, brush right here. I'm going to take a stippling brush and I'm actually going to take the smaller version, the M404 with Morphe, and just slightly run in there, tap off the excess, and then just slightly run it through the hollows of my cheeks. Just to give a little bit of definition. Um, if you don't have time or if you don't feel like doing this, you can skip this step. I feel like um, it's just a little, it's a step further. So if I have time in the morning, I'll do it. Or if I'm feeling it, I will. Um, and then I like to run just the tag. And I just got out of the shower, so forgive my hair. Okay, so now that we have that, we look pretty um, good in the face right now. So normally I don't go in with um, blush at all, so I'm just going to go right in with a little bit of highlighter. I'm going well, this is just the travel size. Now I'm going to take it on a Morphe uh, 497 brush, which is... A duo fiber fan brush. This is so that you don't really get too crazy with the highlight. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to just put it on the high points of my cheeks. And just a little on my forehead. And then on the same, just do the same thing on the side. And down my nose, and then the cupid's bow. Just like that. So then we have the face looking like this, and this is normally where I stop. Normally I'll just go in with some um, eyelashes if I'm feeling it, but today I'm not really feeling it, so I'm gonna just go in with my curling or eyelash curler and curl my eyelashes. And I'm gonna try and pump them and make them as curly as I can get them. Okay. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my favorite mascara, which is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna wipe off as much as I can on the side. I'm actually running out of this, so I'm scraping the barrel. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna very lightly blink and tap it into my eyelashes. Cause I don't want it to make it look like I'm wearing um, any mascara. Some days I do, some days I don't. Um, and you can even leave your bottom lashes blank. I normally don't because if I don't, then it kind of looks funny compared to the top. Okay. So there's that. And then I will go back to the highlighter, which is the Becca Opal, and I will take a I will take a pencil brush and I'll just swirl it in there. And then I will put it right in the center of my eye. Not in the center, in the corner of my eye. Just 
just so it kind of makes look, makes you look like you have you're awake it makes you look like you're awake and if you want you can even run just some right underneath the brow if you want to look like you're having a glowy skin day and then and then for me, normally what I do is I will take a gloss. This is the um, Marvelous Moxie Gloss, gloss by Bare Minerals in Maverick. Um, it doesn't really stay on that long. It smells like peppermint, but I just put it on because it's like one of those shades where it's like it's your lip but better. <laughs> like that and then the color kind of fades out to where it looks just like you have a little bit of gloss on your lips which I personally like so this is just the look that if I want to either have a no makeup makeup day or if I want to throw something on this probably without filming normally takes me about five minutes to just slap it on go out the door um, but if you liked this video and like this look then please subscribe like and comment down below um, it really does help me a lot Leave any suggestions of videos that you'd like to see down below, and I will try to get that up as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, bye!